everybody, this is David at Homestead Hacks. We're out in the woods again, as you can see, and we're making a little bit of updated video on the property. And I'm gonna go around and show you, if you remember the previous videos, where I planted ramp seeds, uh, golden seal, which we always grew up calling yellow root. We have it coming through the ground. It, some of it is pretty high. I was surprised how high it is. I do got some more uh, yellow root golden seal ordered and also some ramp seeds, more ramp seeds. I got about 5,000 more seeds to order, ordered. And what I plan on doing is from here would be that direction where the ramp seeds will be broadcast all over this back hillside right over there. Right here beside me is where I square it off for the camper or whatever we decide to put on it later on, but the camper for now. They come out and approve for the septic tank. So I went back to uh, Gilmer County and turned in that permit. Then did a, had to do a 911 address permit, so it's jumping through a bunch of hoops, but it just can't be helped. That's just how it is. You just gotta, you just gotta do it. It's time consuming and it may take months. Uh, they're really busy this time of year. A lot of people are moving out of the cities and they're grabbing up all these, these wooded lots like this and was really lucky to get this when we got it. But that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go around and show you the plants that come up and Please, before the video starts, we're trying to grow our channel, Homestead Hacks. Uh, please, at the end of the video, click on the little bell. Please like and subscribe. And enjoy the video. I'm over at my property and I come over to check out to see how the yellow root golden seal was doing. And it's just coming through the ground pretty good. Right there's some, there's some right here coming through, and that's the best looking one right there, and, and it'll continue to come up. Apologize about the dog, the neighbors got dogs every time I walk out here, they yap. Guess that's gonna be an ongoing thing when it coming out here, but can't be helped. But anyway, uh, all this right here should come up with yellow root, and I did plant if you remember where I, I talked the previous video, I planted ramp seeds that will be coming up, but they won't come up till next year. And then I did plant some ginseng, which that more than likely won't come up until next year. And I got some more ramp seeds ordered. And then I plan on, we are actually going ramp hunting probably next week, I hope. Cause we gotta get out there cause right now is prime time for hunting ramps. And they're, they should be just about right right now up in the mountains where we go in North Georgia. But anyway, that's a little, that area. I'll show you this next one right up here. We've also got these and they're all over the property. These little tiny shrubs that you see here, those are old, they're all wild blueberries. And the property is just absolutely covered with them. So, they are edible. We've ate them before and on a friend's property and they're pretty good. So there is a lot of those coming up. This is looking back towards where I come from. My truck's way up there. This property runs pretty deep. You can see this is all part of it. You can see up there where it's the ribbon where we plan on putting the camper or future home someday. But this is it's all wooded very nice property and i believe this is the spot where i plan some more yellow root yeah right here it is i can see where it looks disturbed right here a little bit where i was digging right there's right there's a, a plant yellow root Golden seal is a real name, but we always called it yellow root growing up. This is the better patch here. Look, it's coming up really good. Right there's a, that can come up as a two prong. Right there's some babies right behind it. So this has come up really, really good right here. I gotta watch where I step. I don't want to step on it. 
but this is a I thought I had a steak right here maybe I didn't maybe I put it in another spot but it looks really good this whole this will be a good little patch of this whole area right here will be yellow root so that one right there that looks really good if you use that as a thumbnail it's it's more open right here this is an experiment you know uh, put it in different locations see where it'll grow the best it's open we got an open canopy right here you can see up there's the sun so that may be the ground a little bit warmer right here okay this is more towards the back side of the property looking towards the road looking forward and you can see very secluded back here very private this is actually the south side of the hill right here i did plant a few ramp seeds down that direction which don't know if they'll do as good over here as they will on that side that has a little bit less shade or that side has more shade where the where you seen the the yellow root coming up so you can see right there we're squared off is where we got where they they come out and they did a septic tank um permit a lot of debate about that uh here in uh gilmer county uh, some people has putting up and it all depends on what you plan if you plan on putting something up that's off grid pretty much completely off grid they'll let you from what i understand let you go with a with just an outhouse which is something that we thought about but then we got to thinking later down the road we may want to build on this and may want to put a little cabin something back here in the woods that'll be very private someday so that's why we decided to go ahead and go with the septic tank and get all the permits necessary they come out a few days ago done the perk test to make sure that the water drained good for uh for septic and it approved so it's just jumping through a bunch of hoops with the county trying to get this all done and it's it's never easy but it's a process and you got to be patient and just will do one step at a time but anyway that's what we got so far okay here's my other steak it was that's how quick i forget i didn't think i'd planted any yellow root down on the south facing slope but i did and it's up you can see right here there's a couple plants there one by the steak there's some right here so it's coming up good looks pretty decent i did plant yellow root and ramps all the way through here go watch where i step there because i'm stepping on my plants all right there's one right there there's one coming up so i'm expecting this to do very well here and the ramps i think it'll all do very good i plan ginseng seed we'll just see I did order 5,000 more seeds of ramp seeds and I have 700 more at home. So what I plan on doing with those, the other side, which would be the Northwest facing slope. I'm just going to broadcast those from one hillside to the, to the other, just scattering them and uh, just let them, let nature take its course, let them go into the ground naturally. And hopefully within um, a couple of years, we'll be able to see ramps coming through the ground and it does take them about five, seven years to mature. So it'll be a while before that happens. But anyway, that'll put me down the road sometime, but I plan on getting some ramp plants out here, hopefully by next week and get them planted. Here's another patch of those uh, wild blueberries. Look at this, this whole hillside is wild blueberries that's about as high as they get and they'll start putting off little tiny blueberries and it's pretty interesting how that works that'll be right behind the cabin right here's where we have squared off we had to do this so when they come out and did the, the septic tank perk test that they would know around about where to where to check so then the road of course will come out from there the driveway 
out to here. So I thought I'd show that. I thought I'd show this right here. This is on the way out. You see that imprint right there. Most of you know what that is before I even say anything. One right here. Right here. If you know what it is, comment. You see them quite often on this property. Something's been laying down there. Tell me what it was. Here's some more of this fat wood. Remember a previous video? This is just these old knots laying around. See, it was, it was in the ground, not rotted. Still had, has a lot of pine resin in it. Yeah, I don't know if this is, let's say that might be one right here. Yeah, right there's one. They lay around, you can pretty much pick these up about anywhere. Um, right there's another one. See how swirly it is usually? Right there on the end. It's called fat wood. Look at that. That stuff right there burned a long time. It's funny, I've not actually seen squirrels here yet. But a lot of sign of them, they're everywhere. And it's not chipmunks. There's not a whole lot of chipmunks in North Georgia. From West Virginia, where I'm from, there was a lot of chipmunks. But here in the south, they don't seem to be quite as many. Nor do the, the red squirrels, what they call uh, fairy diddles, little tiny pine squirrels. You uh, don't see a whole lot of those, a few of them, but not many. Mostly here in the south, what you see is gray squirrels. You don't see fox squirrels, I mean, every now and then, but, but they're really rare. It's not like where I grew up in West Virginia where, you know, you shot uh, six squirrels. At least, you know, two of them would be uh, fox squirrels, but it's not like that here. It's pretty much predominantly gray almost. Okay, I want to show you this. I don't think I mentioned this in the last video. Maybe I did, but I don't remember. I um, wasn't sure how I grow here, but all this soil is really rich. Most of you know what this what it is. Um, I planted, I did a split off of my plants at home. It's comfrey plants. So I planted four of them right here. And they're doing excellent. All this rain's made it nice. And uh, they're coming up good. Let's see how they do. They look good. And that's about it, folks. We're going to go ahead and end the video. We'll shine back on the property there. Where you look, you look, you can see all the wild blueberries there as well. This property is covered with them. Tons of them everywhere. But that's about it. Don't forget, please continue watching our video. We're going to do a lot of stuff from this property. And a lot of stuff from my uh, where my actual farm is. So, so keep an eye. We're going to have a lot of interesting videos. Thanks for watching. Homestead Hacks.